Good morning, happy Friday. Oh, my balance is not quite as great as it was. So, welcome to my office slash yoga room slash baby's room. <laughs> this is pretty much where my yoga mat stays set up nowadays, um, apart from taking it to yoga classes to teach. And today I wanted to share with you um, a few really simple moves that you can do sitting on a chair. So, you know, if you're at your desk at work, you can do these. Um, you can do them sitting on the couch and you just want to get moving, but maybe you don't have time. Maybe, you know, one of the things that I'm learning at the moment is about um, fitting in and it's where bite size yoga really came from was this notion that, you know, fitting in yoga practice to small pockets of time rather than trying to do your hour to hour class um, or practice that you used to do, um, maybe pre kids or pre the job that you've got now or whatever it is. Um, is to be able to fit yoga into small pockets of time and how can we make that happen? And so this practice is, um, of these moves that we're going to do today are really simple and things that you can just do while you're, you know, if you've got a new bub, you can sit and do with your new bub. Um, you can sit on the couch and do them just to get the blood flowing, get the energy flowing. Um, and create some space through the body. So find somewhere comfortable to sit. I'm doing the on the pillow version. So if you have tight hips and you need to um, create some space, you can do the pillow under the hips and we're extending the legs out. And just bring the hands behind the body so that we're helping to lift up through the spine. So I'll just turn on the side so that you can see for a moment. So when our legs are out, we don't want to be slouching over. I don't have the room to slouch anyway. But so we want to be lengthening up through the spine so that you can see here, I'm extending out of the sitting bones, coming up the spine. Our hands can just be behind the body for support. We want to relax the shoulders down so we're not hunching up like this. We want to get rid of that tension out of there. And the throat just gently towards the the, uh, the chin, sorry, gently towards the throat to lengthen through the back of the neck and out through the crown of the head. So draw the belly button into the spine as well. This engages and lifts the pelvic area. So creating that stability there. So that's how we're starting our posture. And you can have your legs a little bit wide apart. In my case, that's where they go nowadays with my hips. Um, or you can have them a little bit closer together. Just find what feels comfortable for you. We're going to start with the toes, which is why mine are waving at you. So let me get back into my space here. So we're just going to begin by moving through the toes. So we're going to curl the toes over, flex the toes back. So we're not even using the whole foot yet. We're just doing through the toes, getting the blood flow, moving out of the toes. Now we're going to work into the whole foot. So we're going to Press the toes and the balls of the feet forward, spread the toes wide, coming into a pointed foot and coming back, flex the toes, see if the heels come up off the floor. And going forwards once more, press forwards, coming into that point and flex. And two more times. And you'll feel that your calves will get a bit of a stretch here too. You'll feel the tops of the feet getting stretched. Just that blood flow beginning through the body. I've lost count. I think I did an extra one. That's okay. Okay. And just relaxing through the legs. We're taking the feet around in circles. So really working out into the ankle joints, up into the calves and circling in the opposite direction. Getting those hips even moving through the thighs, starting to turn, just very gently though, but this all stimulates blood flow, energy circulation. 
and doing one foot forward at a time, one back. So even working into the opposite, our brain working on different sides. Both sides of the brain working, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, and releasing. As we just draw the right knee up, so depending on your flexibility, and again, if you're sitting in a chair, you can do this. Um, so you can draw the right knee up. I take mine out to the side purely for space here. Um, you can bring the knee more into the center if comfortable for you. Lengthen up through the spine, relax the shoulders down, and just hugging the leg in now. And exhale, extending out. Swapping sides, inhale, the left knee up to the chest. Again, relax the shoulders down, lengthen through the spine, draw the pelvic area up, and exhale, release down. And so we've got some energy flowing through the legs, so we now wanna draw this energy up through the body. So we're going to start with our shoulders, just rotating through the shoulders, Bringing them forwards in circles. Again, keeping that alignment through the spine and then circling backwards. Feel your shoulder blades getting a nice stretch here. So we open up through the collarbones, the shoulders, the shoulder blades and relax and shrug the shoulders up and relax down. Shrug them up and relax down shrug them up and relax down and again if you want to get both sides of the brain working you can take the shoulders in opposite directions so we shrug them up and then we're bringing one forwards and one backwards in circles just concentrating working with your breath one more round and then going in the opposite direction so really oh, Thinking, getting your focus going here as well. Maintaining that alignment of the spine and stretching into the shoulders and just giving them a little shake out. So we then work into the hands. So we're getting the blood flowing now. Now that we've cleared through the shoulders, through the hands and the arms. So we're starting with the hands and just working the fingers in and rotating the wrists around. So you want to start with the pinky finger moving each finger individually before rotating the wrists. If your legs are uncomfortable, extend it out as well. You can bring them in to sit cross-legged or keep them out and then rotate the wrists in the other direction. Again, trying to move through each finger. So really bringing that awareness, or that concentration to what you're doing. Keeping your arms up so the blood is flowing through. We're also then strengthening into these muscles here. All right, bringing the arms up and we're just going to again, you can make a fist this time and rotate. So we're allowing everything to drain out of the arms and rotate back in the opposite direction. Interlock the fingers, turning the palms up if comfortable for you and relax the shoulders down, stretch through the body. Leaning over to your right side gently, stretching through the side of the body. So now we're opening through the spine, creating space through the vertebrae for blood and energy to flow. Inhale up, exhale over to the opposite side. And inhale up. And exhale, release the arms down, just shaking the whole body out gently. And our final one that we're doing as we continue drawing, you'll feel this energy now rising up through you, is taking our chin to our chest. So as we exhale, we lower the chin down again, keeping that alignment of the spine. So our pelvic area is drawn up, our shoulders are relaxed down. Hands are just resting on the backs of the legs or in your lap. Chin to the throat as you breathe deeply. Inhale, taking the head up, the chin to the sky. Opening through the throat. Exhale, 
chin to chest. Inhale, chin to sky. Exhale, head back to center. Inhale your right arm up, wrapping the hand over the head, just placing the hand on the left ear. As you exhale, gently relax the head, the hand over to the side. So we're stretching open through the left side of the neck now. Relax your shoulders. Relax the muscles of your face. As you breathe deeply. Inhale, bringing the arm up. Exhale, release. Swapping sides, inhale the left arm up, wrapping over. And exhale over to the other side. And inhale, release the arm, exhale, down. And there you have it, our very minimalist practice for today, but something that you can fit into very small moments of time. So whether it's a five minute stretch at your workplace, um, at your office desk, uh, whether you, you know, maybe you've been driving for a while and you've pulled over for a break, and you can just do these poses to get the blood flowing from the very tips of your toes and the energy rising all the way up through the body. So we've given the feet, the ankle joints, the legs a stretch and a move. Very gentle, very subtle. Sometimes you don't even know that you're stretching into them. Um, we've done through the spine. We've done the hands, the arms, the shoulders, the neck and allowing all of that energy to rise up through us, clearing out any blockages and then feeling re-energized, ready to take on the day. So I hope that you can find some time or make some time, create some time to incorporate those. Get creative, see where can you put these practices into place and you don't have to do them all in one sitting. You could maybe do the feet in one break and then the hands and arms and shoulders in another break and then the head movements in another break um, so splitting it up throughout your day and rather than doing one big long practice so would love to hear from you in the comments below um, how you manage to create time and put these practices into your daily routine today so have a fabulous Friday and I look forward to seeing you all again next week for another episode of Bite Size Yoga.